Either he's gone through some changes since the photo, or this is not him. Shit! What the hell happened? Calm down, girl. I think there's been a slight misunderstanding. Tyler, it was the wrong room! Huh? There must be another room 369 down the hall somewhere. I think the bird has flown the coop. I'm gonna find him, Tyler. I promise you. Come on, let's go. story ends. Officially, they called it a suicide.
story ends. Officially, they called it a suicide. story ends. Officially, they called it a Good. Very good. Now you must find the Indigo Child as soon as possible. There isn't much time. The visions are becoming clearer and clearer. I've nearly got her position localized. Move quickly. Time is short. The Child must not escape us. The prophecy must be fulfilled. You may leave us. That's it. It's over. Now there's nothing to do but wait, though it shouldn't be long. Perfect. All has gone according to plan. I sense another signal. Cerebral's final activity. I think he's dreaming. Wake up, Marcus. It's time. Hurry up. We don't have much time. Are you sure you want to go, Lucas? It could be dangerous. We have to go in there ready for anything, Marcus, right? Maybe there'll be an alien spaceship inside, or the tomb of an ancient king, and all of his treasure. Or a giant frozen dinosaur? And what if it's a secret weapon to take over the world? Come on, let's hurry. The hangar's gonna be well guarded. We better get going if we don't want Mom and Dad to catch us. Don't move or I'll shoot! Don't shoot, sir! We're just kids! We're the Kane boys! What the hell are you doing out here at this hour? Get back to your home immediately! You're crazy, Lucas! We're lucky that he let us go. But if he catches us again, they're gonna beat our butts! You do what you want, Marcus. I'm going back!
any further. That soldier's blocking the way. One of us should sneak around the back and find a way to avoid him. from Marcus before going on. Now what? The only way to get to the hangar without being seen is to climb up the telephone pole and hang off of the cable. Impossible. That pole is right under the guard's nose. I know, but there's no other way. Listen. I'm gonna try to get him to look the other way. Meanwhile, you run and climb up the pole. I'll try to set it up so you have enough time. Okay, but how are you gonna get in? I'll meet you back at the house. You tell me everything when you get back. At least that way we'll know for sure whether there's a flying saucer in that hangar. It's all up to you, Lucas. Hey, what do you think you're doing there? I'm looking for my cat, sir. He ran out of the house. He was on the garbage, but then he got away before I could grab him. You're one of the cane boys, right? Head on home, son. You shouldn't be out prowling around alone at this hour. What about my cat, sir? We'll find him tomorrow. Right now, you go on back home.
When I got the call, I didn't hesitate for one second. I came without telling anybody, not even Tyler. All I knew is that I was supposed to go to the grave of somebody who'd just been buried that morning. Tiffany Harper. Lucas Kane's ex. She was a good person. She didn't have anything to do with all this. You didn't come here to arrest me. You know that I'm not the one responsible for all of those murders. Oh yeah? And what makes you say that? I hear your thoughts. I know that this case has disturbed you enough to make you listen to what I have to say. weird. No steam comes out of his mouth when he talks, like his breath was already cold. Well then, who is the real killer? I don't know his name. I don't even know if there's anyone alive who does. All that I do know is that he's a Mayan oracle who has the power to erase all memory of his existence from anyone who sees him. Why does he want to kill all of these people? He's using the ritual to find a little girl the Indigo Child. Why does he want this little girl? I'm not sure. All I know is that the child is very special, and that the fate of humanity depends on her. The Oracle isn't acting alone, is he? He belongs to a secret clan who have united the most powerful beings on Earth. Their power has no limit, and they'll do anything to get the Indigo Child. You mean, the Orange Clan? You already know about them? I went to see one of the murderers in an asylum. He talked about the Orange Clan. Oh, this is just unbelievable. But his story is consistent. It seems to fit with what I already know. And you? What's your role in all of this? I was just a random victim of the Oracle. Nothing more. There have been other similar murders, haven't there? The Oracle has been waiting for the Indigo Child for over 2,000 years. But he didn't know when or where she would arrive. So he had to do periodic sacrifices in order to find her as soon as she was born. And your apartment? When we came to arrest you, the walls were covered with ritualistic symbols and articles about the murder cut out of the paper. It was all arranged to make me the ideal suspect. The Oracle and the Orange Clan were behind all that. How did you learn all of this? I just know, that's all. The question isn't whether what I'm saying is true or not. The question is, are you going to help me? Why are you telling me all of this? Because you're the only person who knows that what I'm saying is true. And even if you're right, what can we do about it? Nobody's gonna believe all this. And if the Oracle really has all these powers, what can we do to stop him? Find the Indigo Child before he does, and hide her someplace safe. Do you know where she is? Not yet, but I'll find her. I see through the eyes of the Oracle during his visions. If he sees her, I'll see her. Oh, this is just insane. I cannot believe I'm actually sitting here talking about saving the world with a fugitive wanted by every police department in the country. You're free to choose which side you're on. You can arrest me, or you can trust me and help me save the child. But you must decide quickly. I haven't got much time. What am I supposed to do? If he's lying, I'm aiding a murderer and I'll go to prison. But if he's telling the truth, I have to help him. So, either you're crazy, or you're some kind of hero. Neither one nor the other. I was just in the wrong place at the wrong time.
His hand. It's as cold as ice. The entire country is now without water and electricity services. The army has been mobilized to help provide shelter and basic necessities, but the cold and snow have hampered ground movement, and storms have shut down every airport in the country. The scientists are still unable to fully explain the reason behind the cold wave which has now gripped the entire planet. Temperatures continue to fall everywhere in the world as authorities ponder... Well, our job is done. Now it's up to the army to do what they can to help the population. Carla, you should get some sleep. You haven't closed your eyes in two days. I have to get warm to do that. I'm solid ice from head to toe. Yeah. Hey, look, can I get real with you here for a sec, Carla? I think it's probably now or never. I get the feeling you're hiding something from me on this cane thing. Am I right? Yeah. You're right. I found him. But I think he's innocent. I didn't say anything because I didn't want to get you involved, Tyler. You mad at me? Nah, of course not. Plus, with everything that's going on now, I guess it doesn't really matter. Anyway, as long as you do what you think is right, you can't go too wrong.